This cartridge has no screws. Instead of screws, there are 8 plastic rivets you have to cut. The position is indicated by the red arrows. Take a blade and cut the head of the plastic rivet. Make attention, keeping the blade from slipping and cutting yourself. Note that the compatible cartridge, made in China, has screws, not rivets. Remove the left end cap on the chip side, using the edge of a screwdriver. On the right side, in the same manner, remove the gear side cover. It is not necessary to remove the gears. Take note of the position of each gear, in case you lose some of them. Remove the top cover. Slide the drum axle out, turning it gradually, while pulling. Remove the drum. Inspect the drum, and if not damaged, clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Be careful, it's very delicate, and the light may damage it. Remove the developer roller, by first pulling out the left side, then the right side where the gear is, with a slight inclination. Remove the fill plug. Take the other section, and remove the charge roller. Clean with water. Do not use any chemical. Clean the two sections of the toner cartridge. The toner hopper, and the waste section. It's better, if you use compressed air. Do not breathe the toner dust. It may cause irritation to the throat. Be very careful not to damage the recovery blade. Apply lubricating powder, or toner, to the edge of the wiper blade. Clean the edge of the metal doctor blade. Make attention, not to bend it. Gently, clean the roller, with isopropyl alcohol. Install the developer roller. Fill the cartridge with toner, using the fill plug opening. This cartridge, contains 50 grams of toner. Reinstall the fill plug. Install the OPC in position. In an edge of the drum metal axle, there is a slot. Slide the OPC axle in, with the key end first, from the left side, toward the gear side. Install the charge roller to its proper position, with the long shot left side. Clean the side cover contacts. Join both sections. Replace the chip with a new one, and slide it in place. The chip needs to be replaced every time you refill the cartridge. Reinstall the two side cover. Make sure the kit end of the drum axle fits into the kit hole in the cover. Push the end cap in until it is flat against the cartridge. Using an iron solder, redo the plastic rivets. You may also use 8 screws. And the work is done. Printing test pages. Turn the printer on. Press the one touch button. Until the ready light blinks fast 3 times, then twice slow. Release the button.